Hello, I'm Peter Bassett, representing the Astronomy Roadshow Mobile Planetarium. Uh, we've got a lesson today regarding uh, the, the connection between spaceflight and artwork. Uh, how does that actually work? Right, first of all we've got the NASA logo. This was uh, produced in the 1960s and still used to this very day. Uh, but NASA is not a place, uh, it is an organisation, National Aeronautics and Space Administration. But everyone says that you know, if they've been to NASA, I know what they mean. They've actually been to the Kennedy Space Centre. OK, we've actually got some mission profiles that, that uh, are represented by these badges. And uh, the astronauts have to design their own, generally. So if you want to design your own badge, that's actually quite straightforward. There's a few rules though, sorry. And uh, anyway, basically you can have any shape you wish, any colours you want, quite straightforward. Uh, you depict your space mission on the badge somewhere, and I'll show you what I mean. Uh, we've got one example here, it's a very straightforward one. Uh, this is actually with Tim Peake, who was on board this particular mission uh, a few years ago. And uh, Britain's fourth astronaut, I believe. Anyway, got the Union Jack on it, of course, representing the UK. Uh, his name is on it, Peake. Uh, surnames only, there's not enough room for full names. And um, anyway, we've got, got Scott Kelly, we've got Tim Copra, and so on. Anyway, so I've got uh, the whole, whole crew there, including these Russian names, which I can't pronounce, not to pretend that I can. Okay. Anyway, what else have we got? We've got a Hubble Space Telescope. That's a repair mission, this one. There were four, I believe. Uh, STS 182, uh, uh, that's the mission name. So it was the 80 seconds mission, uh, a space shuttle mission. Anyway, again, all the surnames are on it. Uh, and so on. What else have we got there? We've got a much more complex badge. This one was not worn. Uh, it's too big. But anyway, it was designed anyway as a general badge for the space station. And uh, it's got all the partners involved, so all the financial and physical partners uh, that actually built parts for the space station itself. Uh, Union Jack, top line for some reason. And uh, you also got the, um, the, bat, the flag there for uh, Brazil, and uh, you've got Finland, you've got America, you've got Japan, uh, Canada, and so on. Uh, it's quite a complex one, it does include the design of the space station itself, uh, which is not easy to draw. Uh, what else have we got then? Uh, my favourite patch, by the way, is uh, the Apollo 8 one. Uh, this is quite a neat design. You've got, um, okay, it's got a trip, trip from the moon to the, to the earth to the moon uh, in a figure 8 configuration, as you can see there. It was Apollo 8 and it occurred in 1968. So you've got to have 8 on there somewhere, and that's what they decided. We've also got uh, the shape itself of the badge uh, represents the shape or the outline of the Apollo spacecraft itself. So it's actually quite a neat idea. And the colours, red, white and blue, were chosen because it matched the, the American flag. Well, the Apollo 11 mission was different. Um, OK, the crew members decided not to put their names on this time uh, as they wanted to represent uh, the, the, the actual Apollo itself, uh, the, the entire project. Uh, 400,000 people involved. You obviously can't put all their names on, on the, uh, the badge itself. So they decided not to put any at all. And uh, also they didn't represent the American flag on there, as they, they knew it was like it represents the whole of the human race. Uh, projects on behalf of the human race going to the moon and back. Uh, so they didn't want any representation of, of the American flag at all. Okay, so that's actually quite a neat idea. Uh, what else we've got? We've got another badge, one of my favourites as well. Uh, you've got the completion of the space station, and this was the first crew to actually go up to it once it's actually finished the design. And uh, anyway, you've got a Russian rocket there taking off, and, um, and you've got the first part of the space station also depicted on, on the badge itself, as well as the complete design. Another neat one. Um, anyway, you've got another Hubble repair mission, this one here. Uh, you've got the space shuttle actually on it, that actually launched the Hubble in the first place, as well as the crew to service it. And of course, you've got a peaky view of, the, uh, of uh, what can be seen through the Hubble, galaxies and stars and stuff. OK, what else have we got then? But uh, not only you've got uh, occupied missions that have uh, badges, but so have probes. Uh, no one on board this probe, because the Cassini mission went to Saturn, uh, lost there many years in orbit. And um, anyway, this was designed by some of the crew that actually made the spacecraft in the first place, uh, the Jet, Jet Propulsion Laboratory. Uh, so that's quite a neat design as well. So even probes have, have their own pad badges to represent the mission. Uh, what else we got? The very first one, though, I haven't actually got a copy of it. It's actually produced by Valentina Tereshkova. It's actually a Russian woman in space, the first lady to go into space, that actually invented this whole technique uh, of actually applying the, these badges for each mission. Another one's quite an early one, actually, regarding the uh, space station. Uh, that was on the second component to be added on to it. It's actually quite, quite an unusual mission that uh, hasn't very, very been mentioned. Okay. And uh, what else have we got? Uh, we've got some others, got uh, all the 
LDF um, uh, satellite that was launched. Uh, this is actually facilitated it's in orbit for several years uh, to put in various materials in the space to see how they last uh, against the solar radiation and so on. And uh, it's like an endurance mission to, to see how materials can actually stand up uh, to expose you in outer space. So that's another, another neat mission. So let's give some idea of actually how to design your own badge. So just to recap the basic rules, uh, you can have any shapes you wish, any colours you wish, uh, you can depict your mission somewhere on the badge, and um, also you put your crew names around the edge, surnames only, there's not enough room for full names, and um, good luck, and anyway, see how you get on. Thank you.